Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start adding assets to your game so you can start to build your first level or scene. Uh, I've got the first scene open here at the moment, which is just called sample scene. And I'm actually gonna rename it. So I'm gonna go into the scenes folder and just rename this by right clicking on it and then choosing rename. And I'm just gonna call this level, oops, level one. And then I'll need to reload this because I've renamed it. And uh, you can double click on that level if it's not already open. And then uh, now you sh should be working on that level. Now I'm gonna go back to the main assets folder in the project panel. And down the bottom here in this project panel, that's where I can start importing assets to um, my project. So you can either right click and you can import a new asset from that menu there. Uh, or if you've got an asset package that you've downloaded, you can also uh, import the package there. Um, but you can actually just drag and drop assets from your folders on your computer straight into this panel down here. So I'm just gonna go to a folder I've already got open and I've got um, a sprites folder here, which contains a bunch of different images. All right, I'm not actually gonna use these images for this project, but just so you can see how you can import this way. Um, I could either import these individually by just dragging and then dropping them from here down to here, or I can just drag and drop the entire folder, which I'll do. So I'm gonna click and drag that folder down to here, let go. And now it's just imported this sprites folder here with all of these different images here. So if I wanted to use one of these sky background images, all I'd need to do now, if, if I wanted to put it into this scene, is just click and drag and drop it into that scene. Okay. Now, uh, you can either import assets that way, uh, or you can import some assets from the asset store as well to get started, which is um, the next thing I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna get rid of this background for now. I'll just click on that in the hierarchy, right click and delete. So now we're just back to an empty scene. And I've got those sprites there if I do wanna use some of them later, but I'm actually gonna import some uh, sprites from the asset store. So I'll just quickly show you on the asset store, on the Unity website, if you go to assetstore.unity.com, you can browse for different assets that you can use in your projects. And they include things like sprites or images um, that you're gonna use in your uh, project. So to get started for this, um, tutorial. I'm going to use some free sprites that are already available thanks to Aiden Art. So these are not sprites that I've created. These are by Aiden Art, uh, who's put these up for free on the Asset Store. So you just sign in with your Unity account, which you would have created when you set up and installed Unity. And um, you can then click this button here to add them to your assets. Um, I've already actually added it to my assets in my account. So now it's just saying open in Unity. But um, if you haven't already done that, there'd be a button here saying add to assets. You can do that. And then you can go back to Unity, click on window, package manager. And then from here, um, you might need to just click this little drop down menu here and choose my assets and you should be able to browse all the different assets that you've saved to your account. So there it is, free pixel space platform pack. So if you're wanting this, uh, this asset package, you can just, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the video description, but you can just search on the asset store for free pixel space platform pack by Aiden Art. Okay, going back to Unity, I've um, selected that package, uh, which I saved in my account. And I've actually already downloaded it before. Um, so if, if you haven't downloaded it yet, there'll be a button saying download, but I've downloaded it before. So now all I need to do is just click import. And here I can choose exactly what I want to import. I can pick and choose individual files, but I'm just going to import everything. All right, which is pretty quick. Um, I can close that package manager now. Okay, so instead of using that background image, I'm going to go into the free pixel space platform pack and I'm going to drag and drop one of the backgrounds from here. 
And we can see when um, I import this background, or drag and drop it into this scene, it's not actually filling the camera. So this white box here is the camera and that's what the player is gonna be looking through when they're playing this game. So if there's gaps there inside that white box, that means that the, the background's not gonna be completely filling the screen. So what you could do here is you can grab the move tool if you wanted to move this background around either up or down or left or right or just however you please. You could also you know, rotate this background if you wanted to using the rotate tool by clicking and dragging those handles to rotate. Or you could use the scale tool over here. So if you click the scale tool, uh, you can resize the background, either stretch it out like that or like that. Or I just command Z a couple of times to undo that. I can click and drag from the center. Oops. Click and drag from the center and resize it that way. Okay. And now that's filling the entire camera view. Now, this is actually going to be a platformer game. So what I want to do is have this background repeating across the scene. So as I move, so my character is moving from left to right across the scene, the background continues and doesn't just end. All right, so what we could do is we could just you know, duplicate this image. So you can select it and then you can duplicate it and there'll be a copy of it now that you can move across like that and try and join it up nicely. All right, so now I've got two of the same uh, backgrounds next to each other. And I'm just using my um, the scroll wheel on my mouse or uh, scrolling on the touchpad to zoom in and out here. But you can see now there's, there's two copies of this background. All right, now that is one way of doing it. Uh, but there is another way of doing this. Now, this, this works nicely if you've got images uh, that you've already made or assets that already exist that are tileable, all right, or repeating. So uh, what that means is if the uh, ends or edges of each uh, image, each side of the image, join up nicely or perfectly with another copy of that image. So here we can see that where the, the two copies of this image join up, it joins up nice and seamlessly. So if you created graphics that way, then you can just tile them across your scene um, and you could duplicate them this way, but there is actually an easier way to do this. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, right click on these backgrounds and delete them from the scene. Okay, zoom back in. Now they're not in the scene anymore, but they're still in the assets for this whole project. And what I'm gonna do is click on this image and over here in the inspector panel, I'm going to go down to mesh type and change that to full rect. Now what that means is when I drag this image in, I can just drag it here. So um, I'll just click apply. Uh, drag it here so it's covering from top to bottom of the camera view. But to get this background to tile across the screen from left to right, I'm going to go to draw mode and change it from simple to tiled. And then all I need to do here is change the width. So currently it's 19.2. Um, I might change that to 100. And now we can see that it's actually tiled that background image. It's repeated it across the scene to the width that I've specified. All right. And I can move this background image so that it um, starts here. But as the, the player and camera moves through the scene, um, the background will continue there across to the right. Okay, so that's how you can tile a background image in your scene. Now, the next thing you're gonna need to do is add things like characters and uh, different objects to your, to your scene. So um, I'm gonna go into this platforms folder here and I'm gonna add a, a, a platform sprite, but we can see there's a problem already. And that problem is that the platform is going behind my background. So to fix this problem, you can use um, sorting layers. All right, so over here on the right, if you've got a, a uh, sprite selected, you can go here in the inspector panel under additional settings, you'll see sorting layer. Click on default and then click on add sorting layer. Now here you'll have a list of sorting layers and at the moment this is one which is the default. Click the plus to add three new sorting layers. And what we're gonna do is create um, 
a layer for objects that are going to be in the foreground, um, the midground, and the background, and we can layer uh, sprites that way. So I'm going to start with background at the top of the list, and then I'm going to have midground, and then foreground. Now, anything that's at the uh, top of the list is going to be behind other things. It's going to be at the back. It's going to be the back layer. And anything at the bottom of the list is going to be at the front in front of everything else. Okay. I'm actually going to just click and drag this default layer down to the bottom. So you can rearrange your sorting layers like that. But whatever you want at the back needs to be at the top of the list. And whatever you want at the front needs to be at the bottom of the list. Okay, now if I click on this object, I'm going to change it to foreground. And if I click on the background, my space background, I'm going to click on the sorting layer list and change it to background. Okay, so the space background, its sorting layer is background, and the platform here, its sorting layer is foreground. Now, if I go back and I might import a character, uh, this astronaut, I'm gonna drag the astronaut in and uh, it's on the default sorting layer, um, but because default is now at the bottom of the list, it's just gonna be in front of anything else that might be in there um, in this scene, but I might put it on the foreground layer. Okay, so now we can just use these tools here to like the move tool to to move our assets around in the scene. Um, I might uh, scale the astronaut down a little bit, make, uh, click on the scale tool here and click and drag that box in the middle to resize the astronaut. And I might move this platform over here and maybe click the scale tool to resize that, that platform as well. All right, so you could start building up your scene with a range of different assets. You can um, add you know, uh, your, your player, you can add your backgrounds, you can add um, different platforms if you want to. All right, and you can add things like you know, boxes, or crystals or gems, or whatever you like, and just position them where you want resize them how you want as well. And if you want to rotate them too, you can do that. All right, so to start off with, you can spend a little bit of time setting up the scene for your um, the start of your game or the first level in your game, um, and start laying things out, okay? In the next few videos, we're gonna start looking at physics, so how to get things to interact with each other, um, things to fall or m be able to move. Um, and we'll start building up this scene and then start getting into some of the coding to control the, the movement and interaction in the game. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.